I am Diana of the Mascara, daughter of Hippolyta, queen of the Amazons, and in the name of all that is good, your wrath upon this world is over. I'm already done with skincare, so now let's go with makeup. For super smooth kissable lips, I use Aliana Mineral Cosmetics Strawberry Lip Scrub. Then to keep it hydrated, we use Maybelline Baby Lips Dr. Rescue Lip Balm. For that natural looking pink lips, I love using Tony Moly Magic Lip Tint in shade 01. To reduce the appearance of pores and make our makeup last longer, I love using Aliana Blur Makeup Primer. I just concentrate on my T-zone and then spread the rest on my face. The L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover is my current go-to foundation. I'm in the shade 305. It has really nice coverage without feeling heavy on the skin. And I also like the nice staying power of this foundation. I love using my Flat Up Kabuki brush because of its moussey texture. It helps distribute the product well on my skin and also gives that airbrush finish look. And then the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser helps conceal the remaining blemishes. It also works as a highlight, so um, I love using it under my eyes, on the sides of my nose, and also on my broken capillaries or veins on my cheeks. And then I love blending it using my fingers to blend it well on my skin. And because contour is life and we want our contour and highlight to stand all kinds of battle, we'll be doing the cream to powder technique. So we'll use cream first and then we're going to set it with powder later. So I'm using the Vanilla Coastal Contouring, Contouring Stick and this is in the shade Sand. So I'm just applying it on the areas of my face that I want to hide. And then I love blending it using this brush from Catrice. So the technique here is to blend, blend, blend for a really nice um, and contour face. Wonder Woman's blush looks so natural, so we'll be, we'll be using this Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge Cream blush for lips and cheeks, and this is in the shade Powder Pink. To set my base makeup, I'll be using my favorite from Snowy Cosmetics, is the Powder Extraordinaire. And it's in perfect beige medium. It has light coverage so you can use it alone or as a setting powder. It has SPF 30 and antioxidants. So Wonder Woman has black hair like me, yes. So we're going to use my favorite and go to um, eyebrow product as of the moment and it's from BLK Cosmetics. It's the Bro Sculpting Pencil Duo. I love using the spoolie to tame my brows and then the pencil is retractable so you don't need to sharpen it. It's in the shade taupe so it's perfect if you have black hair. And then to set our eyebrows, we'll be using the L'Oreal Bro Artist Genius Kit in the shade medium. I just got the darker shade and then I'm just applying it at the ends of the brows to make it more defined like Wonder Woman. So to make our eyeshadows pop and does increase, we're going to use the Benefit Cosmetics Stay Don't Stray Primer in the shade Light. I'm super excited to use this Jet Setter Eyeshadow Palette from Skin Potions. I just love all the colors in this palette. And then we're using the shade Hampshire for our base. And I'm just applying it here all over the lid. And then I'm getting the shade Oslo for the outer V. And then I'm just blending it out up to the crease to create that deep set eye, same like Gal Gadot, like Wonder Woman. So I'm using a pencil brush here to blend it out. And then I'm getting the shade Moscow. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm using Perth for my crease just to define the eyes even more. And then, yes, this time I'm getting the shade Moscow for the center of the lid there. And then it also, it is also the same shade that we're going to use for the inner corner of the eyes and also on our brow bone to make our eye makeup more defined and to make it pop. And then the shade Oslo and Perth for our lower lashes.
For the eyeliner, I'm using K Palette Super Black. Nothing crazy, no wing, just following the shape of our eyes and applying it closest to the lashes. To tightline the eyes, we'll use the Pink Sugar Eye Candy All Day Liner in black to make the eyelashes look fuller. Curl your lashes and apply mascara. I love this Maybelline Magnum The Big Shot. It makes your lashes really long and volumized. For our lower lashes, we use the Pixie by Petra Lower Lash Mascara. This one is super easy to use. To set our cream contour, we're going to use our Pop Beauty Contour 101 palette. As you can see, it's my favorite used and abused um, contouring powder. So, a mortar woman's face is very chiseled and contoured, so we'll try to get that look. Then to set our cream blush, we'll use this powder blush from H&M in the shade Tango Pink. For the highlight, it has to be really subtle, so I'm using the Sleek Makeup Highlighting Palette Precious Metals in Renaissance Gold. So I'm applying it on the peak points of my face and blending it really well for that natural glowy look. For the natural kissable lips, I'm using the color at color tints in the shade Thalia and I'm just putting dots because this one's really pigmented and then just blend. To make the lips more plump and luscious, we're using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss in the shade Papa Don't Peach and applying it on the center. To achieve the sun-kissed skin, we're using the Balm Cosmetics Betty Luminizer. And that's it for my Wonder Woman inspired makeup tutorial. I hope that you liked this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this to your friends.